recording. Okay, so we're going to go and have a look at the Golden Demon winners from Adepticon uh, this year. Um, there's some absolute, I mean, all of them are absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Um, there's a little bit of controversy on one of them, which we're going to discuss now. Uh, I will catch up with, I will, I will keep going with chat throughout the whole, uh, throughout the whole thing as well. <coughs> you did, you did buy stuff? Ooh, okay. What? You may want yourself, what? To, okay, alright, you're gonna have to message me to what you, what you've done. Right. Let's head on over. This is on the Warhammer community. Oh, no, nah, wrong one. There we go. Great start. Uh, here we go. So, Warhammer 40,000 single miniatures. Oh, let's do this. Let's read the re read the beginning. Golden Demon is the world, world's premier Warhammer painting competition. And the 2024 season kicked off in style this weekend at Adepticon. I feel like I'm borderline going into Jeremy Clarkson. The standard of entry submitted was higher than ever. So, uh, showcast, uh, oh God. Showcasing the immense skill and dedication of the Warhammer community in painting, modelling and converting their masterpieces. The judges have finally finished their deliberations and now all that remains is to crown the winners. So, who took gold, silver, bronze awards in each of our 16 categories and whose lovingly crafted miniatures earned them the legendary Slayer sword? Read on to find out. Okay, showcasting. Yes, I know what I'm. I I know I know words. I, I can I, I can word. So Warhammer single Warhammer forty thousand single miniature by Neil Hollis. This is uh, an exodite. We see an exodite. Exodite. Bring him back. Uh, using the uh, one of the new Seraphim uh, Raptor Raptordons Raptor things, I don't know whatever it's called. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous, amazing. I've I've only just noticed the water effect actually. I I didn't see that the first time I saw it. I I went through these at stupid o'clock this morning. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, this this is this is beautiful. Now, okay, the controversy. And this is this this wasn't hidden. Um, Neil was saying this throughout uh, throughout the weekend. Apparently, the background is AI art. This is the as far as I know. This is the first uh, instance of AI art being used in Golden Demon, and it has won gold. What are your thoughts on that? Chat and or comment section. Um, yeah, that that is AIR, and when I saw it, I was like, "Wow, that is!" I, I I saw it, and I thought immediately it reminded me of AIR because I've I've created a piece like that for for one of my frames uh, that I never had, had ended up actually using, and it looked very very similar. Um, is the background considered part of uh, part of the judging? I don't know. I'm not sure. I vaguely remember something being the uh, something about the base isn't actually taken into account. I vaguely remember that being a thing, but also that's I, I've never really agreed with that. I think like the base is part of the model, especially when you're looking at dioramas and things like that. So, but interesting, and this is uh, this is going to divide so many people is is the use of AIR in Golden Demon. And it winning. Um, so, do with that information what you will. It is, it is the backdrop here. It's not this section here. It is that backdrop. And he's obviously put these vines over. Um, I mean, the AI art aside, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. That's the thing. AI art is now in in uh, competition for 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 Gone Demon and miniature competition. I would be interested to see whether it's being used in any other uh, painting like miniature painting competitions around the uh, around the world. Um, let us. Background is not the focus of the piece. No, it's not. It's not the focus of the piece. No, not at all. But it is used in the piece. Um, I. As a piece of art, I think it looks great. Overall, the whole thing it looks it looks incredible. It looks beautiful. Um, right, going down. 
So this was Silver. Yes, this is Silver by... Uh, I'm going to mess these names up. Uh, Lee Hyung-hoon. I'm going to say Yong-hoon. Uh, with... Oh, God, what's his name? Ah, I painted him. I can't remember his name. It's the the Illumino, Illumino Cesaris. There we go. Um, absolutely gorgeous. The, the, the blending on the, the blades is one thing. It's the it's the ruins in the back that gets me and that non-metallic copper that's here it's that's beautiful that's really really nice i can see why that got silver um that blending on on the the, the kind of metal surrounds that kind of wrap around the pillar really really nice subtle on the uh, verdigris as well that's beautiful. I mean, it's such it's such a nice model for for like a diorama for a display piece anyway. Um, background is not the focus of the piece. Would it be any better if it was a random image from Google Images? Um, I'm just I'm I'm imp I'm impressed. I'm not surprised someone used it. I'm surprised that it won, based off the fact that it was using AI. But maybe this was part of the whole. I can get rid of this light now. Maybe this was part of the um, of the whole thing with with Gone Demon is it was the first time it was used at that level, and maybe they're uh, testing the water. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe the judges are testing the water. Um, On to bronze from Quan Ho Kim. I apologise if I mess these names up at all. Uh, and this is... Oh, God, what's his name? Ah, I've forgotten all names of characters. Um, Bre Hel Helbrecht? Is this Helbrecht? I think. Uh, the Black Templar uh, Grand Marshal. High Marshal Helbrecht, I think. Um, which, beautiful. I mean, all of these all of these are absolutely gorgeous. What stand I'm going to pick one thing that uh, for, that's my favourite for every model. And my favourite on this is the reflection from the, the back of the lantern on the um, on the cloak there. Hang on, can we get this in a new tab and zoom in? We can, just there. there you, can, you can just see the grid from the back of the lantern. That's so, so much attention to detail. For me, I mean, it's a little overly clean, but in a, in a, in a beautiful way. Um, I that's that's just personal preference, not any uh, judgment on the technique, because this is beautiful. Uh, favorite part is how the red che uh, red cross on the chest pops out with the white trim. Yeah, it really does, really does. And likewise with I mean with all of the uh, all of the crosses, the bl uh, the black with the red trim, the white with the uh, the white with the red trim. Yeah, that's beautiful. I, I absolutely love that freehand on the um, on the cloak though. He is just being cleaned. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He's being polished. He is he is nice and clean. He is nice and clean. Right, let me get, catch up chat. Uh, but it didn't win, did win based off the AI background, or did it win based off the uh, because the miniature was really good? That's the thing. I think it's the miniature, but I, that's why I'm saying I I I've heard that. Um, the bases aren't really taken into account when, when judging. Apparently. I, I, I cannot back that up with fact. Um, okay, back over to... So that is the single miniature for Warhammer 40k. Uh, kill, unit or kill team? 40k unit or kill team? Uh, again from Quan Ho Kim. There's quite a few of the same names throughout this um, I, as I read through earlier. Uh, this is the Black Templar, what I'm assuming is Command Squad or General Squad. Um, beautiful freehand on the banner. I mean, yeah, it's it's gorgeous. The white is nice and crisp. Freehand everywhere. Old school kind of yellow storm bolter with the red flames as well. Very cool. And uh, all the blending on the uh, non-metallic metal. What's interesting, I don't know whether... That is non-metallic metal, or is that that's metal? True, ma uh, true mat. I don't think it is. Um, I would be surprised if it is, but it kind of looks like it is. I'm not sure. There is different. Uh, there's definitely a different look between this and 
and the 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 teeth on the chain sword. I don't think so. Um, on to uh, silver and bronze. Sam Lens coming in with the uh, orcs. Um, 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 great boss. I don't know what the new orcs. I I haven't really checked out the new orcs that much. I'm I'm not a fan of the snake bites vibe that they went for. Um, the thing that sticks out for me that if, on this is the base. That blue on the dreadnought and the the dead marines is is gorgeous. I mean the orcs are amazing, but that blue is really really nice. All the way up to this. I don't know what color that would be. What is that? It's not even aqua. It's I don't know what colour that is, like beigey blue. It's very, very, very cool though. And the, the, the stark contrast between everything on the orcs, that yellow, the red, the green, uh, and that crisp blue is very, very cool. No, it's not it's not quite it's lighter than teal, isn't it? It's 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 a beige teal. I know what you mean. It's kind of teal, but it's 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 almost like there's a yellow in it or a beige in it or, or something like that. Either way, it's cool. Uh, and then this was uh, bronze from Lee Hyun Hoon uh, with the Ultramarine Command Squad. Uh, these are the new these are the new models apart from this one, right? The, these are some of the new models because I don't recognise that standard era um, as a new model. Um, that's beautiful. I think that's sculpted detail. Yeah, that's sculpted detail. Um, but of course, with the the um writing all that writing is freehand um favorite bit about this favorite bit about this i'm gonna say the i'm trying to say not the gold but i think it is the gold i think like that helmet there that very dark on the left very bright on the right the gold reflection on the non uh non-metallic metal is beautiful for this very cool the gold really ties it all together. Yeah, it does. It yeah, it does actually. I think that's why I was like, I'm trying not to say the gold, but I think it. I I think that's it. Yeah. Absolutely. A nice um, nice layout on the models as well. Uh, so that is unit or kill team, large miniature or vehicle for Warhammer Forty Thousand. This is up there as one of my favourites. This is from Julian Charbonneau Gravel. I apologize i'm gonna kill all of these names the, i mean this is a little bit more grimy it's a little darker i love it i love the base um there's a theme i think running throughout all of the the pieces that, this year and it's not everything is very matte and i don't know whether this is the photography but yeah it's very muted and i think this there's a lot of muted tones in all of the pieces so far we go back up through there i mean they're bright and vibrant but they are they're still muted everything is quite matte apart from maybe the scales on the the, the lizard there now i don't know whether this is a style of photography and the models aren't like this but that's uh, that's I'm, I'm 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 getting a theme this year um from from golden demon absolutely gorgeous love this mottled metal effect um on the armor never liked the pictures from golden demon one angle lighting sometimes off um i mean some of them are very very oh what well, just there's one angle of the model don't they go in and do oh no they'd sometimes do showcases on things like the 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 slayer sword winner um which i i hope they do a whole article on the slayer sword because i saw the winner i saw the piece before it actually won uh on instagram um i think i followed the i, I was following the guy before even realizing um and i loved it then and and i didn't even know it was going to get entered um it was really really nice putting it through an instagram filter yeah it does look it does look like they they've all had a filter going gone on them um yeah yeah but this is absolutely beautiful the very subtle lighting on the face from the eyes and the mouth but i i what my favorite thing about this is gonna be the it's gotta be the armor this kind of mottled yellow brown armor i think <laughs> yeah they put it all through an ai filter none of these are real um okay and the vehicles are 
Silver, Jesus Valera Navarro uh, with the Lehman Russ, which... Am I a fan? I mean, I'm a fan of it. Am I blown away by it? I don't think I am. I think so far, I mean, obviously it's incredibly well done. So far... Doesn't look like a lemon at all, not even yellow. It's true, it's true. Yeah, that's probably why uh, that's probably why I'm not blown away with it. Uh Ninja Yeah, I saw Ninja on one um one bronze. Um I saw that I remember seeing the name, but I can't remember um I can't remember what the piece was, but I remember seeing it. Um It's beautiful. This is a custom sculpt, I think. Or heavily converted commissar. And th my favourite piece of this is the, the, the commissar, the tank commander. The tank itself, I'm not... I, I, I have a funny feeling this is probably better in person. Maybe it's the photo. The tank commander is definitely the best part um, for me. I'm not going to lie, I've seen better tanks done on YouTube. I... Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know what it is about that tank. It's just not doing much for me. Um, the tank pound is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Love the detail on the medals uh, and that very fine um, uh, aerial for the com thing. Tank is rather ba basic, while the commander pops. Maybe that's part of it, though. Maybe that's maybe that's the the aim of this is to make sure that the commander is is popping, so everything else is 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 dirty. So yeah. Uh, and then I haven't actually looked at this properly. LK um, with the blight hauler, blight hauler, blight drone, blight hauler. I think um, this is beautiful because it's all the tiny little details. All that I, I that's not even it's not stippling. That those are placed very specifically. Uh, the free hand on the I can't remember. Is there a I feel like there's a sculpted detail here on the model, but that looks like that's that looks like that's free, well, it is freehand, but I think that might be shaved down. Is there a sculpted detail on the model? I can't remember. Um, but this is very very nice. This is very very nice. Minimalist base, cheeky little nurglings. Um, there looks like there's a nurgling here. I don't know whether that's attached to the model or the base, but yeah. I yeah, beautiful. It's it's clean Nurgle, which is very hard to do right. I uh, wonder if this inspiration is World War One looking tank because it looks like it. Uh, yeah, it I, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. It's it's Warhammer 40k with the stylings of historical war games and historical war games like historical military look aesthetic is actually quite boring to look like look at because it's not supposed to pop out at you um can be boring sorry can be boring to look at because it's not supposed to pop so maybe that's the reason maybe maybe that's the reason not sure wish they put the model what the model is like even a store link so we know what it's looking looking at i'm surprised they don't do that actually although there would be some things that there wouldn't be um I think that uh, there, there wouldn't be links because it would be like completely brand new sculpt, especially in the open category. Um, also, I, th I, I think people would get annoyed at that. That would be like shameless marketing. Um, okay, so that's the 40k section overdone f for now. Age of Sigmar, single miniature. When I saw this, I thought it was Vanessa. I thought this was Vanessa miniatures before I scrolled down to the name. So this is David uh, Ugolini? Ugo Ugolini? Uglini. Um, that is flawless. That skin is beautiful. And I know it's the sculpt. However, ah, uh, no, I've seen something that's, that's not ruined it for me. I think it's the angle that the photo's taken. That every, all the shading on this is absolutely gorgeous. This, this plate here, this metal plate here, that's beautiful. The skin is phenomenal. Why is the nipple so far over to the left? And I think it's the angle that it's photoed at. But that nipple looks weird. 
but I think it is the angle it's photo. I don't think this is the model. Um, the fa that face is gorgeous. The su actually, I've just noticed on the sword there's a very, very subtle reflection from the base. A very, very, very subtle, like sandy color reflection on the sword. Oh, what's my favorite? The the face and the skin blending or that detail i think it's got to be the skin because it's so well done but that is a close that that's a that's a little honorable mention is that subtle uh reflection on the sword very very cool i don't have armpit nip nipples that's fair that's fair that that's just that's on me i don't have armpit nipples i, I apologize i apologize I, I i i should i should have armpit nipples i'm sorry um that i mean let's not the shading of the nipple is on point. It's the positioning of it. I don't know whether that's on the sculpt. It doesn't look like it is. I'm not sure. Yeah, and the base as well. The base as well. Beautiful. But again, muted colours. The, the non-metallic metal is really subtle. Really, really subtle. Do you, can you see what I mean? It's It's... There's so many muted colours. It does look like everything's been put through a filter. Uh, this one actually doesn't. That one... Oh, no, no, still it does, actually. I reckon they've all be, they've been put through a filter. Uh, too grimdank for you? Nothing's too grimdank. Oh, my God, grimdank? Is that a thing? If it's not, I'm having it. Um, and then on to silver and bronze... I'm going to try. Demothenus Xylus? That's a sick name. Uh, wow. This. Love this. This isn't in the model, is it? This isn't This isn't part of it. That's a great, a great little thing. Love that. Um, what are we looking at? Love the tones in the face. That purple, that blue. We've got a little bit of uh, a different in light, difference in lighting. From the left to the right. Beautiful. I agree though. Really like vibrant colours and they seem to be out of place in 40k. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, bet there's fan fiction 40k smut and it's called Grim Dank. Absolutely. I'd be disappointed if there isn't. And if there isn't, I'm going to start it. Um, my only... I'm going to be really... I'm, I say, I, I have no right... To judge these um i'm gonna be brutal there's there's quite a lot of bubbles in that resin pour which i don't know whether it's intentional but i i feel for the person if uh if it wasn't intentional i feel for the person because once you've done a resin pour you can't go back um silver should have won gold the details are way more insane than simplistic look of the first one i would disagree I would, I would. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Love. What, what's my favorite thing about this? This, this little mini, mini moment down here, is is brilliant. Ja, I would say that this sword sticks out. That it is too vibrant compared to the rest of the piece. Like, there's lots of different types of metal, but I'd say that this almost draws focus. Now that I've seen it. Um. Love this metal effect. That's gorgeous. Uh, breaking news. YouTuber says other resin people are trash. <laughs> the resin pour. The resin pour. It's not 3D printed. It's the resin pour. I can't pour, I can't pour resin for shit at the moment. I've, I've only tried a couple of times and I messed it up most of the time. The speed paint contrast YouTuber. All right. All right. Okay. But I would, I would respectfully disagree uh pillow i think that that is that is perfect skin uh, skin tone blending i i cannot fault that at all and the fact that it's on a slanesh model where perfection is is like personified oh love it and then we go to bronze from Addy wardle that's a name i haven't heard that's a name i haven't heard for years um yeah that's gorgeous that's really nice this is this is less subtle this is less subtle this is less muted because the the non-met is much more brighter in the highlights 
Out of the three, I would agree with this getting bronze. Yeah, I would agree with this. This is this is subtle and smaller, um, and and yeah, it has it has less wow factor compared to the other two, but it's still beautiful. Look at the look at the trim, look at the damage on the on the cloak right right down the bottom. That's really subtle. Contrast painter who can't paint normal paints. It's true. It's true. I never said I was good. All the single figures models look like they are large bus, not 28, 32, uh, 32 mil scale, which is crazy. Yeah, that's the other thing. You've got to remember that these models are tiny. Absolutely tiny. Um, there's one later that is uh, Aeronautica model, which which I absolutely love. Yeah, that, that damage on the trim is beautiful. And the skin tones again. Skin tones are, are stellar. I I think the skin tones on the other two are better. So I out of the three, I would I understand why this got why this got bronze. But oh, I keep coming back to this. This is gorgeous. Right on to Age of Sigma unit or Warcry Warband. Oh, look at it! Look at it! Ah. Oh. Look at it. Michael Thomas with the gold. Utterly beautiful. Look how... I mean, immediate, apart from the chameleon, sk chameleon skink... That's a, <laughs> that's a lot of AI-generated green. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, can you imagine? It's very busy. It's very busy. But I buy it because of the location. Look at is the is the frog is that frog on the model because that is sick I love I've only just seen that the the greenery in the back perfection absolutely love it perfect scale perfect shading on it beautiful beautiful um, I love these little found the tiny little fountains from the springs the frog is not from the kit. <gasps> custom frog custom poison frog love it maybe it's sculpted yeah to be fair i don't recognize i don't recognize that cane, like the cane the walking stick at all you don't recognize this but i think that this is like the standard bearer from could be from the cox score kit it could be just like an addition um that top I, I feel like this top is from one of the riders. That feels like it's a ride. Oh, look at the look at the non-net on the favorite bit. It's got to be the frog. Ripodactyl kit. Yeah, maybe. It's got to be the frog. Set close second is the gorgeous uh, non-met skill on on this on this helmet, baby. Uh -uh. No. No. Go on. There we go. Okay. Cool. You bit itchy, mate. All right, okay. It's all right. You're not in trouble. It's fine. It's all right. He was uh, my my dog was dragging his ass over my spot on the sofa. No, 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 <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's got to be the frog. Middle be middle model is the Astroth bearer right on top. It's the new Saurus. Left is War Cry. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought this was like a. a a, a standard bearer or something like that. He's making it his spot. It's my spot. Get out of here. He's got half of a sofa. Deal with it. Right. Okay. On to silver and uh, and ninjon as well. So uh, Nicholas Rubens Mortensen with the silver. Uh, this is the. I've seen this before. This was a, a UK Gone Demon. I'm sure it was. I recognize. I I remember seeing this in person. I remember seeing this and it doesn't look like this. They've put filters on everything. I'm sure of it. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, the photo is absolutely stunning. The piece is absolutely stunning. Love the idea that you just cut out the top of... Uh, it's, it's the Glock, Glockkin, right? Or it's supposed to be the Glockkin. Um, it's not the official Glockkin models, but it's essentially that. Love the fact it's top, uh, cut out the top of like the greater and clean one. With the extra hero. Yeah, this is the extra hero, isn't it? Uh, it, yeah, no, it's definitely Nurgle. 
definitely Nurgle. Um, this is beautiful. I've seen this in, in person. I'm sure this was at um, at UK Golden Demon last year at Warhammer Fest. Um, and the I remember the colours looking different. I think. Golden Demon needs to up the game up the games and put the submissions on a lazy susan already give us 360 views that would i don't know you can't do 360 for for um contest stuff you just it's for some stuff you could but display like competition painting is meant to be observed from most of it is meant to be observed from one angle so this would be the angle not with that attitude it's true i'm the problem i am the problem i'm sorry i'm sorry uh, and then Ninjon. This is Ninjon, right? John Ninus? I'm assuming. Um, I remember seeing their post on, on Instagram and how and how much time they put into it. Um, yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. I think this is what the, the, the new um, Cities of Sigmar models are, are, are going to be great at over the next couple of years, is like group dioramas like this. Um... And they're very, very good for display models. So, yeah, I totally buy all of this. Yeah, love the dog. Look at the dog. Good boy. Good boy. I like this model. This, mo this model, I think, is going to be used a lot in uh, dioramas and displays. Because it's got so much attitude. When I first saw it as a, as a tabletop miniature, I don't like it. It's boring. But as a display model with it's got so much atmosphere around it that that model's going to be used for a lot i think and including this this rider as soon as i think i remember as soon as we saw this rider including the gryffindor <laughs> oh no i can't see it i can't not see it it's a gryffindor scarf is is that harry potter is 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 this is this is this a character from from harry potter i liked oh, that's my head cannon that's my headcanon now. Harry Potter the Old. Oh my god, this one's a this one's a bit this one's beard. This is Hagrid. This is Fang. That's kind of got a shit-eating Draco Malfoy look. And Snape. Oh my god! Headcanon! It's It's Harry Potter! Well done, you ruined it. I'm sorry, Ninjon, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't not see it. It was the scarf. You did it to yourself. <laughs> it was the scarf. But yeah, no, we've got Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Uh, oh no, it doesn't work out for the houses. Anyway, either way. Uh, either way, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. Lo favorite bit. Favorite bit. Uh, it's got to be this guy. I don't like this model for a tabletop, as a tabletop game. But I feel like this is... No, sorry. Favorite bit is the Gryffindor scarf. I'm going to turn it out. The saddlebag looks really good. Also, the holster for the pistol there. That looks great. I know it's not even a scarf, but that's that's the Gryffindor scarf. Favourite bit. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Okay. Age of Sigma, large miniature or war machine. We have a Lariel. I feel... First of all, this is gorgeous. Look at the... Oh, my God, the trident. Is it a trident? It's not a trident. What's this weapon called? Um, I feel... Oh no, my favourite bit is this. It's the green encroaching on the desert. That's cool. That's real. That's a really cool idea. But it's not a trident. It's got it's got four it's got four uh, pointy bits. That's not a trident. I agree with you about the model not working for games, but as a, oh yeah, as a diorama, mm, on point. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um. Elarial as a model because it was one of the very it was one of the very first um, uh, heroes in Age of Sigma. It was one of, the, one of the first big hero models. I feel like it's not aged that well. I feel like Elarial has aged very well. Um, I don't like Stag Beetle as a model. This isn't anything about this piece. This is as a model. I put that model together. I feel like the Stag Beetle is a little bit. Eh? Elarial herself is sick. Um, very, very cool. If it has four prongs, it's a fork. It is! It's a wood elf fork. I like Belthanos personally. Belthanos. Oh, that's the new... 
A uh, lot of hip thrusting. A lot of hip thrusting on Bell Thanos. Um, Favourite bit for... Yeah, the bug's better. The bug is better on Bell Thanos, yeah. It's the bug. It's the, bi it's the bug that I'm not wild on. Favourite bit on this? The green. The, the base. I'm sorry, it is. That is a very, very cool idea. And the fact that the, 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 the forest is sprouting out of the desert. Also, love the subtle of just not having it just on top of the base, but it cur curving round as well. Yeah. I, yeah, love that. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, by Ruben Martinez Arribas. Very, very cool. Uh, and then we've got Liam Hopkins on silver with whatever his name is. The Ossia Bone Reaper um, general guy. Um, again, really... I don't think this is models. I think it's the photography. I think they've put a filter over it. They do a little bit of editing and then they whack a filter on it. Maybe it's to make everything look uniform. Catacross. Catacross? Is that his name? Okay, cool. Belthanus with sax saxophone explains hip thrust. Oh my god, yes! Totally needs a saxophone. Oh, isn't he blowing a horn? Okay, alright. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, love the bass again. Basses are on point this year. Um, really nice. Really nice contrast to the, the teal. But also blends in with the bone really, really nicely. Yeah, that's sick. Favourite bit about this. I would say the bass. I would say the bass. The bass is my favorite. That really muted bass. That's very similar bass to the gold, the Slaneshi warrior with the insane skin tones. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. Love that. Love that. It's all about that bass. It is all about that bass. Yeah, it's true. That buttery biscuit model bass. And then bronze. <gasps> oh. Oh. Kelsey Graham with whatever the model is called i can't remember no that's a conversion right because the or does their kit come with multiple uh multiple things it's a busy base but i like it this this the base is giving me diablo vibes like tristram lovely painting don't like the model at all again this is this is a model that i don't like as a as a, as a gaming piece um because it's impractical you go to pick it up and it kills you. There's so many spikes. And if it doesn't break in, in on you know, on its way to the game. Um, but from... Uh, and Yeah, no, it... Yeah, I have mixed feelings about the model. However, as a piece... It's cool as shit. I would have less issues with the model if this was a conversion and someone had created it. But the fact that it's a it's an official model or converted from an official model, um, yeah, it's the model I'm yeah model. Uh, but this is a piece is gorgeous. I I I prefer this over silver. I think. I love that the gold pops out. The gold pops massively. It's not a conversion. Okay, because there are is there two versions of this model then? There's a female uh, Lady Dragon Vampire Hero, another version. This is the other version. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Come back to this comment when we get to the old world winners. Silver, bronze, gold should have been the actual winner order. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I prefer this over silver. The, oh, I mean, technically this is beautiful. Yeah, mm, I prefer the base. Mmm, hard. Very hard. I'm assuming that the... Oh, no, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Underworld's Warbands. Uh, gold for David Uglini. U Uglini? I'm going to say Uglini. What else did he win? It was up here somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. All right, okay. This thing. Yeah, sure. Um, little hard to see. Can I open that in, in a new tab? There we go. That's a little easier. Ooh, pretty. I love this warband. In general, because that is such a cool pose. Um, it's the teal that does it. If it wasn't for the teal. But yeah, that teal's really cool. That's really cool. Oh, the more I look, the more I like. It's so vibrant up the top. And the subtle shading right down there. Shield on the second guy from the left is fantastic. Shield, what? Oh, this? Yeah. 
I can imagine. Oh wait, where's this? Where's he looking? Oh, he's looking down. Oh, okay. I don't know. Don't know this model. This is like the. Is this is this the actual warband or is this an extra model? I feel like this is an extra model to the warband. Um, I love this pose. Yeah, it's the teal that does it. And the very subtle weathering. Very subtle weathering. Yeah. Love the idea of the warband. Lore is fantastic for it. Really? Okay, cool. I don't know the lore for any of the warbands. I don't know. I've never played Underworld, so. Teal also has a verdigray effect or whatever the statue looks. Yeah, verdigray. I mean, that is teal, isn't it? The oxidization, yeah. Actual warband, big guy with the shield is the second in command. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. And you got the three little, the three stooges. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of another way of, 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 of describing the teal apart from, yeah. Uh, and then silver and bronze. What have we got? We've got the uh, totally not Wurzak. Um... Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. The green, this the green skin is really nice. Really, really nice. Let's have a look at. Let me let me have a look at bronze first. Maybe I'm a sucker for a base. Maybe that's it. As a piece, I prefer this. As a piece, I massively prefer this. These, I'm assuming, look. Stella in person. I'm assuming. I'm assuming this this is kind of similar to the skink that won in America like two years ago, where it was a very simple model and it was just very well like incredibly flawlessly painted. I'm assuming that's but it's hard to tell from this photo. I'm not a massive fan of like these these guys. I prefer it on a base. I prefer things like this. This is cool. Um, King Lyric. Yes! It's King Lyric! Yeah, that's very King Lyric. Laura's the Skelly Warband. They were knights who were also sons of the King Skelly. He bound them to him to protect, which persisted after death. That's cool. Yeah, it's definitely King Lyric from, uh, from Diablo. Um, I love this. I would have given this silver, personally, but it's hard to tell from just photos. Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe it's because of the horn, the the rib cages. Maybe. That's sick. I re I, re I really like that. Really, really like that. Is that my favourite out of all out of all of them? Like the teal is insane. As a piece, I prefer this. I think this is my favourite. But that's I probably because of the base. Uh, Horus Heresy. Ooh, oh, oh! <gasps> Look at him. David Ug oh, Jesus, David Ugloni cleaning house. Um, I mean, fuck. <laughs> I mean, favorite bit. I'm I'm a simple person. Favorite bit is this. Look at it. Look at the little spider servo skull. That's. Oh my god. Oh. One of each, ugly only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Servo crab, yeah, servo crab. Gotta love the servo crab. Servo crab. Um. Oh my god. I'm I'm having. Is this this is a conversion as well? This is an official model, right? That's a custom mini, surely. Surely. Because that's the demon. Is that the demon prince's head? That's the, the Dark Mechanicus Demon Prince head, right? Or it looks like it. Maybe it's not. I think you should only be allowed one win. It seems unfair for one person to win multiple things, especially coming out so strong with that first one. That's... I I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like, you can only want, win one. Um, and it does... I mean, that way would mean that more people would win and spread it out. So, I, yeah, I kind of agree with that. The work and effort is monumental, but still, maybe maybe one entry. Yeah, it's kind of like you're 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 playing a numbers game at the end of the day. So I yeah I, I get it I get it I get arguments on both sides, but I from from a from a 
inclusivity and allowing more people to get noticed. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, from that point of view. This is... F fuck me. Come on. That's stunning. Uh, yeah, use Perturabo as the base model. Made a few changes like the mask, hammer, missile launchers. Yeah. It does Perturabo has the, have this skull in their hand? Is that a thing? Everything. Uh, you're saying the armor for this is insane? This is actually one of the few models that we've seen so far that I've preferred the model over the base. I've really loved all the bases so far. Uh, 2024 year of the base the mod the model is just you know what you know what you know what makes this so special it doesn't look like it's had a filter over it it's not mute it looks like it's has slightly I reckon in real life this is this pops because that looks like it's fighting whatever filter it's put they put over it because it's not as mute. They're still muted, but I think the muted is wholly the filter. I reckon in real life this pops really, really strongly. I'd love to see this in real life. That's beautiful. Right, okay. Uh, on to silver. Hey, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Oh, let's not do that. Let's do, no, not that one. There we go, that one. Uh, Matthew Cantor for the silver with the Night Lords. Uh, Horus Heresy champion, I think. Um, hold on. I mean, so this is uh, this is Aaron Clark. This is AC, AC miniatures. Um, Aaron, I feel I, you should have got silver, mate. Don't get me wrong, this is good. I feel like this must have been more impressive in person because that photo is doing that model no favours. I. Hmm. Night Lord is Praetor? Right, okay. I'm sorry, that it blows out of the water. A AC's AC's uh, Horus is Horus should have gotten silver. Should it got should it have gotten gold? No, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Aaron, sorry, AC. No, but uh, th this is this th this is phenomenal. Should have gotten silver. Definitely should have got silver. that. Beautiful. Well, I, I haven't done my favourite things. I haven't done my favourite things. My favourite thing of this was all of it. Uh, favourite thing on this is... The eyes. The eyes are cool. The eyes are really, really cool. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only judging things like this because I feel like everyone has the right to judge art. As wanky as that sounds. Um... That AI back AI background is gonna be a meme now, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean the background is, I mean it's cool, but comparatively to other pieces, it's um, it's not doing the model any favors. Might be the basis they are taking into consideration for the model, only not things like background. Oh, maybe it's the backgrounds then. Maybe that's it then. Maybe maybe that's why they allowed the AI background because the background itself is not taken into account. I'm sorry, this is fucking phenomenal. If if the if it wasn't for what won gold, that I I think that is No, I just remember I was just gonna say I think that's Slayer Sword worthy. I'd be surprised if this didn't go get like not maybe not final cut, but like be up there for Slayer Sword. I think, I think, personally, this is this is phenomenal. Possibly my favourite one so far. AC, AC miniatures, everyone. Hats off, thunderous applause. Right, old world. Okay, okay. So this is who pillow. Was it you who said you think bronze, silver, and gold should have been backwards? 
All right, okay, so this is Nicholas Rubens Mortensen with the gold. I mean, this is really, really cool. Love the texture on the... So this is, this is very converted. This is very converted. If I'm being critical, the mace looks like, uh, looks a little flatter on the gold. Highlights may need brightening in some areas. Hold on. Mm, I see what you mean. Yes. Barely, but I see... Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. That might have been the lighting. It might have been... Actually, no. You know what that is? I think that's the filter. Because they've got a gradient coming up here. Which stops about here. Just. Well, kind of. No, it stops about here. I... Mm, I don't... Mm, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um... Okay, the thing with the old world gold winner is I give it its blending and skin. That is incredibly well done. Should have been silver bronze. Silver bronze gold, do you reckon? Okay. The skin's really cool. I love the like the, the stippling. There's so much detail on the skin. Okay, alright. I ooh, my favourite is the favourite bit's the axe. That's really cool. Uh oh, okay. You reckon it's silver bronze gold, yeah? Fuck, that's good. Oh, the classic evil son. Classic evil son. Oh, carrying the standard barrier, uh, standard banners. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, all right. Let's see bronze. Fuck. That's like I imagine that. Oh, I know. I've I've just realised what they've done. Oh, I instantly love this. This is the Green Knight before they got turned into a spirit. <gasps> That's cool. Yeah. Love that. That's the Green Knight before it got turned into a spirit. Yes. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm going to say... Oh, man. The, the, the non-met on the, on the armor is really good. Um... I'm going to, I'm going to, this is impressive. Personal favorite is this. I have a soft spot for the green knight, but that's really, really cool. Maybe it was the trees. Yeah, I'm going to agree. Yeah. I personal favorite is this one. Bron uh, silver, bronze, gold. No. Silver, gold, bronze. So I think... Raphael Boyan should have got gold. This should have got silver. This should have got bronze. I love this personally, but this is better. Soft spot for the Le Fay Knight too. Yeah. Old old school uh, Bretonian lore is great. Middle Earth. <gasps> yes, I saw this earlier. I saw this. This is stuck in my mind all day. I love this as a base concept. I fucking love this. Um, very, very cool. Okay, okay, all right. That's... Now, is that painted or is that resin? I want to say that's resin and then uh, that's that's been painted. Troll has free hand on parchment. Parchment, parchment, parchment. Where am I, where am I looking? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it does. Oh, it does. Mm. No, I don't get me wrong. I can see totally why this got gold. Personally, I personally I prefer this. Although the free hand on the dragon is, I'd say the free hand on the dragon doesn't isn't as good as the evil son or the bad son. No, evil son, evil son. So maybe that's why, because the free hand there doesn't match up with the free hand on the shield and the. Uh, and the evil sun. So, yeah, maybe that's why. Possibly. Uh, this thing's cool. This thing's really cool from a base point of view. Uh, love the texture on the fur. Nice little green glow from the sword. Okay, all right, all right. I just realized time, actually. This is taking longer than I thought. Um, and then silver with the Eastling. Oh, that's cool. Love that non-met. And let's go to bronze. Oh, he's a little ditty. Oh, he's a little ditty. So cute. 
Um, horrible model. I don't like the sculpts with the goblins, but that's very, very cool. I could, yeah, no, I agree, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. That's, there's so much texture going on here. So much texture. Uh, yeah, look for it even, everything kind of fits together on the mini, some, some lev same level of freehand, blending, etc. across the model. What, on here? Yeah, that's fair. Universally, this, this is, is better. There are better moments in these. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Um... I really like this one. Favorite favorite parts, favorite parts. Base, love the, the ice. I'm assuming ice? Might be water, actually. I'm not sure. This seems like ice, this seems like water. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, blood effect's really cool. That weapon's gorgeous. Look at, look at all the colors. The different colors on the, the shaft of the whatever weapon this is. Middle Earth minis are also tinier in Age, Age of Sigma and 40k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are slightly smaller. They're like true scale 28. It's ice. It's from a scene where he charges across the ice. Ah, uh, okay. I, in which case I'd get, but that doesn't look like ice. That looks like... I don't know what that looks like. This looks like ice. That bit doesn't. Um, yes, I remember the bit you were talking about now. Glaive. Thank you. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Weapon. Favourite part. Again very muted base this is a thing this doesn't look, look look muted i think this that's probably the least muted out of all of them yeah cool 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 blood bowl <gasps> yeah utterly love that look at the face on that that's got to be a custom sculpt on the face right that's got to be custom sculpt on the face. Actually, a lot of this is custom sculpt. That's... My my only criticism... Look at the face on the Nurgling. My only criticism of this is... The face puts... It doesn't put the rest of the model to shame, but there is... So, the face is so good. It's it's popping out... You know the, that whole saying of faces, bases, faces and bases... That face is popping so much out of the model that it it almost looks detached. Custom sculpt on the whole mini, including the Nurgling. That's insane. The the head the face looks like it's detached from the rest of the model because it is so well done. That's really interesting. I looking at it, I almost can't look away from the face. That's so fascinating. That's weird. Very cool. I'd like to see this from a different angle. Yeah, I'd love to see this from a different angle, actually. So it was Nicholas Rubens Mortensen. Ah, who? what else did Rubens Mortensen do? Ah, okay. So this will be a custom sculpt as well, then. Yeah, you're supposed to have a good focal point anyway. There's good focal point, and then there's... You can't focus on anything else. And then you look at it, look at the little face of the Nurgling. Oh, he just looks so happy. Uh, and then you got Bob Cahoon with the halflings. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Favourite bit. I'm trying not to say the squirrel. I'm trying not to say not to say the squirrel. Least favourite bit is the base, actually. There's lots of it, it it's lots of tufts and rather mm, not not fond on the base I mean the models are gorgeous utterly gorgeous love the stubble on the face of this guy yeah oh the squirrel's cool hey Clive welcome back how's it going we're just going through all the, blood, uh, the uh, golden demon uh, winners who what got bronze uh, Camille oh that's oh man do I prefer Mm, skin tones are on point. Skin tones are really on point. That's... Again, so that is not muted. Compared to the other ones, that's not muted. So there's been a trend this year of muted colours. Before the filter, I'm, a sh I'm sure. I'm sure. 
Bronze is better than silver? I agree. I... Mm, mm, what was gold? Yeah, okay, obvious. Um, I think it's the skin tones on the halflings that um, that took it. Because you've got subtle things like there's a black eye there as well. Um, see, that's good. That's clean. That's clean. The other ones are more realistic. That's clean. The detail on the sock. This is cleaner. Highlights may be a little too light. The, uh, the trousers of the bronze. I think it's because clean because it, because it's clean. The the red on the cloak is unrealistically clean, but it's very cool. Um, mm, tough, real tough, real tough. Personal favorite is this one. Favorite bit is this is this Forge World or is this a custom custom sculpt? Because I love the glasses. I, everything about the face, love it. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Necromunda. That's Forge World, is it? Okay, cool. Uh, Wei Hu. Wei Hu. I, I, I suck at names. Uh, that's really cool. Are they, these are Forge World as well, right? Or are these... No, these are custom because that's... These are Space Marine weapons, right? Or am I talking about talking out my ass? Woo, woo Hu. Wei, Wei, Woo Hu. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wish they didn't do this gradient. I wish because we we've lost this now. I wish but I wish they didn't do this gradient. Suck, sucks at names and geography. I do. I su it's not woohoo. You suck, Berserk. I totally believed you. It's way way way. Oh, I don't want to say way hey way way. I don't know. I don't know. It's fucking cool models. That's what it is. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Favorite bit. Favorite bit. Mm, the red there, that red, that red blend, specifically that red blend. Uh, oh man, yeah, that's cool as shit. That's cool as shit, but hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, bronze. I this was a this was a this is another entry because I remember seeing this at UK Gone Demon as well. Yeah, I remember seeing that. The book, the book's really cool. That's from the front of the land speeder, right? I'm sure it is. Um, the Molotovs not on fire. They're all in the right, but yeah, they're all in the right right place. Oh, hang on, hang on, hold up. Hmm. I'm not. Nothing is. Nothing's jumping out at me like previous, previous entries. Love that white. Love the white stripe down there. Oh no, the green actually. The green's really, really cool. Front of the summer imperial vehicle. I'm sure that goes on the front of uh, of one of the land speeders, or it might just be like a generic weapon accessory. Um, the blue really pops out actually on these. Love. I love the cascading blue on there. Oh, is it Black Templar? Right, I thought it was Dark Angels. Okay, yeah, all right. All right, let's, yeah. This reminds me of, um, again, muted colors. Muted colors, not muted on the, uh, filter. Not muted, I reckon the, that's quite vibrant in person. Although that's subtle, that, that highlight's quite subtle. Okay, let's move on. Epic Scout. Ah, oh, okay. Epic Scout has one of my favourite favourites in, I think. Yes. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, James Tarrant. This is very, very, very nice. Always love to see um, uh, other miniatures on the bases of Titans. Easier to blend muted, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Silver seems to be missing something. Yeah. Yeah, I think I... Yeah, I agree. I think so. I feel like the models are just kind of plonked on the base in the nicest possible way. I think that's what's doing it for me. There doesn't seem much to 
to tie the models into the... I don't know. I mean, there's something... There's something... I, I have to think about that one. There's something that doesn't work for me. Um, this is really cool. I like the motion on this one. Like, where, where it's angled. Um, James Tarrant, sorry. The gold for uh, Epic Scale... Yeah, I mean... It's, it's a cool last titan. It's a cool last titan. I love the, 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 the little details on the base. Um, this... Absolutely love. I think I can see why it didn't get gold. I prefer it. I do prefer this. The, the this this one is like yeah cool. It's a very very well painted Titan. Very well painted Titan. That's more interesting to me. That's that that that's more interesting. My my only can um my only comment would be it it looks like it barely fits in the in the hangar or the 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 entrance it looks like it's just turned out of the ham hangar which i guess yeah sure but it looks like the wings do those wings unfold technically in the in the law because it looks like it only just fits they took lumineth trees and put them on the rocks yes they did yeah yeah, yeah. i dig it I, I, I dig it. The fit looks weird, but I, I really enjoy this as a as a Shit, that's a manta, isn't it? That's an epic manta, right? God damn that 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 is a big hanger. Uh and then the thun is Thunderbolt? Thunder something from Alexis Lehulier. Um yeah, I dig it. We've got kind of White Cliffs of Dover style over here. I really... This has become a thing over the last couple of years, I think, where you've got aeronautica and flying, like, small scale with that kind of curved background, and I really enjoy it. It's not a manta. Oh, is it the um, tiger shark? I thought it was a manta. Tiger sun. There we go. I'm not, I know I'm getting ahead of it, but a diorama of, and dual gold winner deserves it. Jesus, that's incredible. Is diorama the Slayer Sword? Because the Sla we're going to get to the Slayer Sword. Um, yeah, shit. I, I, yeah, I really enjoy this. I really, really enjoy this. I like that. I love the Force perspective. I, the, the, we're seeing a lot more Force perspective um, nowadays, especially with with the. Um, uh, with the small scale aeronautica stuff and I think it's in dual bronze where we see more yes here it is this is this yes so I saw this can we open this in the new tab so we get all of it yeah there we go I saw this and and like bits of it being worked on on Instagram this is phenomenal the idea the concept the fact that there isn't any film or any resin or anything like that. It's completely... It, there's nothing there. But the... The lily pads are cut out and just floating. Beautifully. The the idea that there's no reflection in water, so there's no body parts. There's no head, there's no hand. Uh, no hands on the vampire. I... I cannot... Express. I've already posted this on um, on Instagram. I cannot express how much I love this piece. One that's causing an uproar because the bottom is uh, bottom one is a three D print. Oh, that's a three D print. Really? Is it? Why not? But why? Why not just get the same model and cut the cut the things out? Why? Why have a three D print? I don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand why you do that. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't believe this is unless it's been confirmed by the artist. I don't believe this is a three D print at all. There's, there, there would be no reason to do it for something like this. There would be no reason to three D print this because it wouldn't be unless you got the original file. There's no reason for this for, for this to be a 3D print. So I, I I don't buy that unless it's been confirmed, like the um, 
the AI art for the background for the first one. He scanned the mini. Why? Why? Why do it? Was that? Is that? Is that actually confirmed by the artist? If it is, fair enough. But I don't. I. I, I don't understand why you. Why you would do it. Um, at all. It's confirmed yet? Really? That's weird. That's really... I don't know why you do that. Because why wouldn't you just buy the same model, have it in exactly the same pose, and just cut the cut the head off, cut the... and not put the weapons in? That's... That's so strange. I don't understand that. I don't understand it. It's phenomenal. I love it. I love it. Um, that's the one I was talking about. Right, okay. So, this is cool. This reminds me that red and green is very similar to the, um, what's the World Eaters or the core, the, the, the Berserker, I think it's World Eaters one that was a limited edition model that was on the front of a white dwarf and things like that. This is really cool. Um, not muted as well, I don't think. I reckon this pops massively in real life. Yeah, that's cool. I love the lighting on this. That kind of blue, like that very alien H.R. Geiger vibe to this. Hats off, that's cool. That's cool as shit. That's really cool as shit. My favourite though, is this. I love this. As a duel, this is fantastic. Fighting over the um fighting over the, the parachute with the force perspective going up. This is my I I mean out of the duels, this is my favourite. I can't ignore the, the the gold, but I I this holds a special place in my in my heart. The fact that it's held together by all this. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Right, young lads, this is this this is where it always gets depressing, isn't it? Uh, so Ben Trentacoste, or Trent Trentacost, is this a vampire orc team, or it feels like? Oh, is that just blood? I thought this was like a zombified orc team. For creativity and cleverness, this is fantastic. What this one? Yeah, it is massively. Young lads are always depressing because you realise that oh, they're just young. No, 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 they're fourteen. Like the cap, the the cap is fourteen. It's always depressing looking at the young bloods. Um, yeah. It's cool. That's cool. Like, it's cool at any stage, but the fact that they're 14 and younger. And he's done a, they've done a mar marble base at 14 or younger. Oh, it's just depressing. With the OSL as well. I think Sh Silver should have got gold. Uh, I think mm, no, I I I I agree, I agree with the 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 eyes are really really good on that and the the blood effect, yeah. And I see fourteen in my area paint a titan with a wall brush, yeah, exactly. No, I'd 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 buy that, I'd buy that. Very early um, phases of of like. Uh, non-metallic metal on both of those but yeah I'd, I'd i'd go with it i'd go with it open competition this is where the ship gets weird so it's open and then slayer sword so we're near the end we're near the end um damn i don't think i've seen i i think i must have skipped these damn that's vibrant see not muted colored colors vibrant colors look at that green that's and that's a custom sculpt on the skink surely i think it is like the contrasting greens and blues yeah yeah that kind of ethereal blue and then that vibrant slap you in the face green love it yeah i love that and the the what looks like a pokeball or death star actually that looks like a death star love the the held up by the base as well okay uh, Richard Gray with th th I'm sure this this model wins every year. Not not this one, but this this sculpt. There is a win in there. It's not a custom sculpt. Oh, it's from Warbands. Uh, it is a Pal Sphere. It's totally a Pal Sphere. Love it. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, the blue to the blue to. I tried this a while ago on on my the one the model of this that I sell, um, and fucked it completely. I fucked it completely. Um, oh my god, look at the eyes. Oh my god, look at the orange. Our oh, favorite bit is the is the mouth, the tongue, the the kind of magical boils on the tongue. No, the silver. Fuck. There's so much on that. Oh my god, you just keep looking and it gets better and better. Oh. Do I prefer it to that? No, 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 no. That's 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 cool. Uh, and then Jane's are. Oh my god, look at the eyes. <gasps> look at the face. Open competition is just. I feel like I'm being slapped by talent. Stupid, stupidly talented, stupidly talented. And then the Slayer Sword. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, there, there's not. There's not an argument in it for me. Because in creativity, this is insane. So this is Alexandre de Santos. So we can go get some different views. You see how thin the um, the the pond bits are. The, the, the lily pads and the pond scum. Am um, I right saying open, open competition can't win Slayer? I believe open competition can't win Slayer because open competition includes uh, staff. Open competition is the only one that staff um, can enter and therefore cannot win the Slayer Sword. I believe. I I love this. I love this so much. Around the, around the back, the moss. It's just, yeah. Insane. Insane. Uh, so, the next Golden Demon is the European leg uh, that's coming to Germany in um, Spear Lesson. Because we're not getting a um, we're not getting a UK Golden Demon this year, I think. I don't think we're getting because we're not getting a Warhammer Fest, are we? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we're getting a Warhammer Fest because Warhammer Fest last year sucked. Um, I don't know whether that's the official reason, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a factor. Uh, the fact that they need to rethink how they do Warhammer Fest because last year sucked ass. Um, from a from an organization point of view oh it was bad anyway anyway right there we go there is um no uk warhammer fest due to cost issues with the vest uh, with the event it sucked anyway i'm not gonna bitch and moan about warhammer, warhammer fest um cool okay that's golden demon uh, Adepticon 2024 those are all the the winners this video went on way i thought we were going to get it done in like half an hour it's, it's over an hour, I think. Uh, but thank you very much for um, coming and hanging out. And uh, yeah, I will see you all soon. What was your favourite? What was your favourite? This is going out on uh, as a separate video on YouTube. So what was your favourite model? Uh, what was your favourite entry? Um, do you agree with the rankings with gold, silver and bronze? You've heard our ideas, our, our, our opinions. Um, what are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, make, make sure you like, share, and subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, my favorite Al Alki's model. I, I, yeah, I, I love my my model. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. That makes no sense for people who are just watching the Golden Demon thing. I painted a model. This was this was from a stream uh, that was at big before this segment. Anyway, right. Okay. Have a great evening, everyone who's watching the stream. Uh, I'm going to stop recording.